Okelico okay, guys, hi and welcome to this tutorial for using the Behringer BCF2000 uh, fader control unit with Logic Pro 9, the latest version of Logic, uh, which is Mac of course. Now I did do some tutorials for the BCF with Logic and Cubase when it came out some years ago. Uh, they were low quality and um, obviously times have moved on since then so they're out of date. So we're revisiting this and I'm going to do a a whole new tutorial specifically for Logic um, in good quality video bringing everything up to date. Okay, This is a full tutorial. This is going to tell you everything you need to know. All right. So you can see I've got Logic open there with a template ready to go. I'll explain more about that in a minute. So the first thing we want to do is get the uh, BCF booted into Logic control mode. Okay. So to do that, you hold down the third button on the top here, this top row of buttons, hold it down, keep holding it down, and boot the unit. And the display shows LC and then EG. OK, so we boot into LC, um, which is Logic Control, and it's now moved to EG, which is Edit Global, and we can release the button. So we're now in Edit Global, where we make our settings, OK, and we use the pots for that. So. The first pot is the type of mode the unit's in, so we want it in USB 1 mode, U1. Okay. Second pot does nothing. Third pot should be to set to auto. Fourth pot does nothing. Fifth pot is the ID number. Okay. Now, if you're installing only a single BCF or you're installing the first of more than one BCF, because you must install them one at a time, the ID should be set to 1. Okay, then the sixth pot does nothing, the seventh pot should be set to 100, and the eighth pot should be set to 10. And when you've done all that, hit the exit button here, and that's it. Okay, now the BCF is configured in logic control mode with the settings as we set them, and every time you power it up, it will remember that and go into that mode. And once we've stepped out of the Edit Global, Using the exit button, the BCF boots into its default mode, and the display shows PN, and its default mode is the uh, fader pan. Okay. And over in Logic, the uh, controller setup panel pops up, showing the newly installed Logic control unit. All right. And uh, on the left are all its parameters. These are its basic parameters. Okay, so let me just um, move this panel out of the way. Okie doke. So that's it. That's how you get it set up for logic control. Now we'll show you using two units later on, but let's now work on how one unit works because if you're using more than one, it's the same, but with some slight variations. Okay. So you can see my logic template there ready to go and it's uh, set up with 14 tracks uh, each with a channel EQ and a compressor on it. Okay, And uh, you might be wondering why 14 tracks? Well the reason is because the BCF has got 8 channels. Okay, So I've got 14 tracks plus the output channel strip plus the master channel strip makes 16 which is a multiple of 8. So what you want is to make your channels in your mixer always be a total that is a multiple of 8. Okay, and the reason for that is that of course the Behringer can only address 8 channels at a time and therefore you step up and down those banks of 8 channels and you do that using these arrowed preset buttons here which are the bank shift up and down buttons. Okay. So you must make sure that your mixer is adjusted to full height because there's, there's some graphic bugs unfortunately as well if the if you want this white line underneath here to follow and there's also a white line down the side of the tracks in the track list column okay so we're in the first bank of eight at the moment and you can see that by the fact that the first eight are underlined and the selected track is the one highlighted number one and therefore the first button here is lit. This is the select button, okay? So that's number two, three, four, etc. Okay. So we're in the first bank of eight. So we step up a bank using the preset button up. 
that's the right hand one yeah and the white line both on the uh, both on the track list column there that moves forward and the white line in the mixer jumps forward as well okay and it's now covering channels 9 to 14 plus the output and the master a total of 8 okay so that's why I've got 14 audio tracks it keeps everything logical if you make sure that your channel strips in your mixer are always is always a to the total amount of channel strips are always is always a multiple of eight all right so um, so for example this, this keeps everything logical okay so I'm in the first bank now and that's number one two three four five six seven eight then I step up to the next bank and I'm in and it steps up a full bank of eight because there are eight available places to step up so it logically follows that now that I've stepped up a bank so now I'm controlling from eight onwards 9 10 11 12 13 14 output and master okay <coughs> now this is the best way to use the BCF logic always make sure that your channel strips in your mixer the total amount is a multiple of eight um, because it means you don't have to do any head working out on, on, on the BCF and I'll, I'll show you how that can cause problems let me just drag this come on let me just drag this down so I'm going to knock out some of these audio tracks ok let's say my composition only required 8 tracks that's all I need for the track you know for the song I'm working on ok so select track 1 again ok so in the first bank uh, now we're in, the, we're in the first bank now and the white line is underlining channels 1 to 8 so we're now in the first bank it's as we expect fader 1 is channel 1 fader 2 is channel 2 fader 3 is channel 3 etc 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 but if we then step up to the next bank so we can control our output and master logic can't step um, the BCF can't step forward a full 8 channels because there are only 2 places available to the right that it can step up so if I then step up using the bank up button oh, and there's a graphic bug again let me just close and open that now the white line is underlining the master as well I've stepped up but it can only go up two places so it doesn't work logically in the first mode my last fader is 8 if I then step up really the next fader here should be 9 but it isn't it's 3 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then the output and master because there's only two places available to step up to the right so even if I only had eight tracks in my arrangement as long as there are no auxiliary channel strips making up any additional mixer strips I need to add some dummy tracks okay so I'm going to duplicate and put it back to 14 again now of course if you did that and you're adding just dummy tracks that you weren't going to use but just to make up the numbers you wouldn't have plugins inserted on them or anything okay so now my total amount of channel strips again makes a total of 16 14 tracks plus the output of master and now stepping up and down with the bank shift works as expected I go from 1 to 8 to 9 10 11 12 13 14 and then output and master yeah do you get that okay let me add some more tracks let's say I was using 20 tracks in my composition let me drag this setup out of the way 20 tracks in my composition ok so in the first bank it's as expected I'm controlling faders 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 I step up a bank as expected I'm controlling 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 step up the next bank though and there is only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spaces available to step up, not 8. So it will only step up with the next bank press by 6 places. And therefore I'm getting an overlap. It doesn't go from controlling 9 to 16 to then controlling as the next bank 17 onwards. It jumps to control 15 to 20 plus the output and master. So if I was using 20 tracks in my composition I'd add two more tracks. 
Okay. And again, you wouldn't have plugins or anything on those. So now I've got a total of 22 tracks plus my output and master makes a total of 24, which is dividable by 8. And that works as expected. The first bank is 1 to 8, the second bank is 9 to 16, and the third bank is 17 up. And then it, uh, starting at 17, as you'd expect, going up 8 total channels. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and the output and master. That way everything is logical. You know, you go from 1 to 8, 9 to 16, 17 upwards. And, you know, so you know that's 16, and the next press, that's 17. Yeah? But that's how you should do it. Always keep your channel strips in your mixer as multiple, uh, as, a, as a total number that can be, uh, that's a multiple of 8. Okay? And if you've got you know, auxiliary bus channel strips, you factor those into the calculation, of course. Right, so let me knock these tracks out now and go back to using just 14. Okay. So that is how you should always use logic with the BCF, as I say. Just make sure that your channel strips, including any auxiliary bus channel strips and send auxiliary channel strips, they make, with the tracks and the output and master, a total of 20. Uh, a total that is dividable by eight exactly. Okay. All right, that explains the sort of um, navigation. Uh, so now let's look at the four different modes that the BCF works in with Logic, and um, th those four modes are accessed using these four buttons in this panel here. Okay. Edit, store, learn, and exit. And they are the four modes. Okay, and the default mode, the edit button, is PN, fader and pan. Store is EQ. Learn is plugins. And exit is send. Okay, so now let's look at those modes. <coughs> 